Hey guys, WhiteWiki here, currently live from ESA Winter 19, and the run you're about to watch is Jade Cocoon, played by Leonis07, and he did the any percent category. So, watch out for that, and have fun. This is not the right camera. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone. I'm Nunes07, I'm about to run Jade Cocoon. Next to me is... Taco. My cool commentator, my couch. And uh, we're gonna start very soon, so... I'm gonna press the button in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. That's all, that's all I got. So, uh, do we have a name for the main character? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just uh, give me a second. So I think the D the bids were for the the main hero, renamed Levant. <laughs> yes, and uh, our name for Levant seems to be. ESAW 2019S1 Okay uh, ESAW W... <coughs> w... Uh, 19? Alright 2019 2019 Okay And then S1 S1, S1 okay I almost S... One. Fine. Just enough. Cool. Thank you very much. We're gonna go with that. Right. So, J. Cocoon, this is a game, an RPG, which uh, is kind of a cross between uh, Pokemon, that, like just the game you saw just uh, just before, and a bit of um, The Legend of Zelda in some parts, a bit of Final Fantasy in this scenario, because you have to save, not the world, but a whole, like, country from any kind of evil and stuff like that so um, this game has been largely produced by uh, the Gibber studio if you can relate to the graphics the music uh, very cool studio the neighbor Totoro, Totoro and all those movies are from them and uh, we are here with the main character called Levant well no it's called ESA W 2019 S1 uh, he has been chosen, but he doesn't know yet. Uh, he's gonna make a series of strange dreams uh, in which he's gonna get some crucial information about his destiny and we're gonna try to lead him through all the game uh, in order to, to save his world. And uh, so this category is the any percent. There uh, is a glitchless category, which takes a bit longer than, uh, than an hour and five minutes. Uh, this run has been presented by Jack of Hearts uh, two years ago for ESA Summer. Uh, so it's going to be the very same run. So for those who weren't there, this is your chance to catch up. And for those who are a little bit more uh, expert to it, uh, I hope I'm going to uh, put on a good show. Right, so this is the, the dream world. If I may say so, we are gonna go through our first piece uh, of battle mechanic, uh, thanks to that guy, the Dream Man. Uh, so we have six uh, options, three are great because we don't have access to it. We have attack, defend and use, they are pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go over, over them. So I'm gonna, all I have to do is to attack, really. There's nothing else to it. Uh, we are not meant to win any of these battles, except for one inside the dream world, because that guy can just hit us like a truck. So all we have to do is to attack because it's a faster animation than defending. And we just are hoping for that monster to kill us in three turns to save the most time possible. So as you can see, it, uh, it works a bit like Pokemon. There's a health bar. Um, there are like 
magic points to use for certain abilities and stuff. And after that dream, everything in the scenario will get a good rush. Uh, some enemies from the forest are invading the village, putting some some of the inhabit inhabitants uh, into a serious condition. So we're gonna have to find some remedies, some cures, some some magic ways to to resolve that. And uh, we're gonna try to to do that as fast as possible. And the main difference between the any percent and the glitchless is, as the name says, is, uh, there's a glitch that we're going to use. Uh, the glitch is called the Hunter's Glitch because it's, rela it's related to an item called the Hunter's Hearing. That item is a teleporting item. Uh, it's a bit like an emergency exit if you followed the Final Fantasy run uh, two days ago or the Pokemon run if uh, the item was in there. Uh, so using the, this item teleports you out of a dungeon and we're going to use that teleport feature to mess a bit with the game and forces it to warp us out uh, or in uh, a zone we don't have the access to normally so it's kind of a series of wrong warps in a, in a way and it's called transit also a transit glitch because it has to do with transition screens and stuff So here, uh, those are the m mayor, his uh, form assistant, I don't know how you, you would call it, the, the right wing <laughs> uh, of the mayor, and an old uh, lady who's supposed to have some magic power, some, some gifts. And uh, she proposes that uh, our, our hero hero will have to m marry a girl from a specific clan the Nagi clan which is a clan of uh, like magic people that can turn into fairies that's a bit particular so in that game they are getting along quite young and it is all for the sake of saving the human humanity so we can understand the gravity of the situation and the rush into those ceremonies And these days you didn't live long, so you <laughs> find love, you grabbed it by the horns, and you got married to it at a young age. <laughs> and you get to, to stare at the starry sky. They work really well as a couple, though. I mean, yeah. that's, it's got to be said, considering how small the village is and what the other options were, being none. Uh, there was know. one option, which uh, who was the, the best friend of the character. Uh, the best friend is actually in love with, uh, with the girl we are actually bonded with <laughs> so um yeah th there was o other options uh th there was another guy in that uh, little scene which was the, the little brother of our wife now we can say that so here we go we are inside the dream world again and do you do you know what will happen all I'm hearing are Star Wars signs of Darth Vader about <laughs> father. Yeah. There's a strange voice that we don't recognize yet. Which is supposed to give us some hints about what will happen next and why we're here. So we are going to be introduced to normal battles against monsters. So all we have to do again is to just attack because we don't have anything else to do except for defending and we don't have any items for now so we can't use anything so that fight should take about four turns four hits if it takes more it means that the monster has probably dodged one of your <coughs> your hits and it's not cool there you go excellent so those monsters uh, are related to an element. Uh, you could see like some square, uh, F. yeah, F, uh, the the red F that goes for fire. And all along the run, we're gonna use the elemental system to take advantage of and negotiate some battle quicker than we would expect. So here's the comeback of the minion. 
All we have to do is attack because we can't do anything else right now. So normally, even if I defend, so it saves a bit of a of a time. I should die. I did it. Right. So don't do that like, ever again. Um, sometimes damage roll can can roll in. Sometimes it's more finicky than what it, it seems to be. So we we just lost. This guy is taunting us again. And uh, we're gonna have to start our journey to to get the cure for the village and the means to defeat the evil force. So for that, we're gonna go to the old lady house with a little glowy thingy behind us. Um, this is the safe point. Right, so we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go to the watchtower. But before that, our beloved have something to give us. Which is a ring. Supposed to contain some love into it. Uh, here's the watchtower, we're gonna talk to the little guy who was disturbing us when we were staring in the sky. Here's the, be the best friend, who was supposed to be in love with uh, the girl, but wasn't meant to be with. And we're gonna go to the forests. So the forests are the dungeons of the of this game. There are four of them, for now. And you can travel inside those forests thanks to keys. And those keys are related to insects, just to symbolize the, the forest world and the general visuals of uh, the monsters. Uh, in terms of movement, uh, you see the character is kinda clunky in the move. Like, uh, it threatens to break every, every corner. Um, it's very special because you can run with that character with the L2 button or the triangle button, not even with the D-pad or the anal analog stick. That's a bit, um, a bit of a thing. You can also you can walk with the D-pad, but you have to run with R2, uh, L2, or a triangle. So this is um, Chorus, a, hun a hunter. Uh, how can I say that? Teacher, and he's gonna teach us the way to deal with monsters and how to capture them. So for that we have to weaken uh, the monster, and then we use uh, a quite surprising item to capture. It's an ocarina. So this is what it sounds. I find whenever I tame animals in the wild that only an ocarina will do the job. And that ocarina has the power to create some some light, some web li light webs to capture the spirit of the monsters and to make them ours. A bit like Pokemon, that's why I was saying that it's a bit of a cross uh, between the genres. So. Spider-Man, Pokemon. Kinda. Kinda. So here we're backtracking a bit because I need that enemy to reset his position and to change the element of that enemy. So what I just did is called an elemental trigger. Some screens are changing the element of the monsters and I'm gonna manipulate that to get the ones I want. So those spiders are quite hard to dodge. Usually you can get one of them. Uh, if you're lucky enough with the placement of the second, you can get both dodges. That's a tremendous amount of time saved for the early game. But sometimes it's not cooperating. So I'm going to perform my first glitch. I'm not going to be able to tell much about it. I'm going to tell after that. Let's see. There you go. So as I was saying, I'm going to use that teleport item onto that specific location to warp in someone's hut and uh, <laughs> I just barged in and uh, in that guy's location <coughs> and that's normally a thing I wouldn't be able to do but thanks to that wrong warp I just could skip all the forest in just a flash a finger snap and then uh, I can save time so the way that glitch work is that you have to reach a certain uh, frame location onto a screen which is 
quite close from a transition kind of box. And if you manage to open the menu uh, within that box and using the teleporting item, it's going to create the warm warp. So I think there's an incentive at the the end for making my catch doing the the very first uh, glitch. So I don't know if it's met or, met or not, but hopefully you guys are gonna contribute to that because it's a very cool one to to do. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna buy some metamorph words, two of them. I'm gonna buy then sell to free up a, uh, an inventory uh, slots to manipulate a bit my inventory management. Uh, I can confirm that the glitching couch and the wind boss fights incentives were both met. Oh, wow, cool. Uh oh. <laughs> cool. So <laughs> he's gonna do some action, and I'm gonna have to do some some tricky stuff. So it's all gonna happen uh, by the uh, at the end of the run because those are requiring a save file for that. Um, and that also means you will have to do one of the most uh, difficult glitches uh, in fun. the game. But that's okay. Uh, here, we are in the second forest. So remember what I said, I manipulated the, the elements of the monsters uh, in the previous forest. And the game was still thinking that I was in that forest, so I could come from the forest instead of the main area. And that elemental switch carries over uh, the other forest. So this monster should have been uh, a, a green one related to the element of Earth, but instead of that, the elemental switch carried on and is now a an yellow, an air elemental monster. And that monster I'm gonna have to capture it because he is essential for <laughs> most of the run until the end. So I'm yeah. gonna have to weaken it. Uh, the one specificity about it is that whenever the health of that monster goes into the red, he's gonna start using some special attacks, so I'm gonna heal in advance. It's so one of the really cool things about this game, like, I'm really ahead of its time in that the, the monsters are actually color, like, palleted, depending on what element they are. Yep. So when you go into different screens, like, if you do reset, like, the elemental affinity of it, you will actually see the models of the other creatures on screen change color as well. That's okay. great. Yeah. Seven, oh. that's, that's good. I should have, like, two more tries. So that enemy is known for being a bit trollish for the capture rate. So hopefully my performance at the Oka Arena will be sufficient enough. Looks like it. Nice! Second poke. oh no, no, that's not a Pokemon. Second monster. So even if we captured it, uh, we don't have the access to it yet. We're gonna have to equip it because monsters are kind of considered as equipment. So we're gonna have to find the NPC giving us the ability to do that. So I'm gonna take that little item, a skeleton key, uh, which are the only items in the game that can open chests. And there's one chest I want to open very quick, very quick, very soon. So I'm gonna go over that screen. So I have to anticipate a bit of movement of my character because it's not really responsive with the D-pad for the, the movement. And if I do it, wrong I can just bonk into the monsters I'm gonna go over there so I took that chest because three important items into it uh, two magic items uh, fire items uh, of different tiers I've got uh, th five tier one fire spell and three tier two fire spells oh okay cool one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, I don't know if it worked. Mm. I'm gonna go for it. So, this one is tricky. And I didn't get it. Um, it's very tricky. I did the, the, the tricky one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo it and uh, it's gonna be the safe method. Uh, you have to count the number of steps you take whenever you run. And I tried to count and it's between 9 and 10 steps, so I usually go like 9 and to do a half step, but sometimes it's not quite right, so I have to do it again. And the safe method is to just go past the screen, coming back, and doing it uh, walking. And by walking, it's like 3 or 4 steps and a half, so it's not much. You can reach the right frame, set of frames 
quite nicely. So I wanted to try and go for the fast, uh, fast way, but I'm not quite ready yet. So I'm gonna go over that screen transition. I'm gonna come back, moonwalking a bit. I'm gonna make my character like this, and I'm gonna count one, two, three and a half. I'm gonna equip the silver crown which raises my magic potential. I'm gonna heal with those items. Oop, I almost did what I shouldn't. And I'm gonna use my teleport uh, item to wound warp to access an area that I still didn't get it. That's weird. I'm gonna have to do four, uh, almost five then. Right. So these blue monsters that are in the on the ground in this area, how come they're not chasing you like all the other ones have been? Um, some enemies are behaving differently. Uh, so some are reacting to the way uh, you walk through into the, the, the forest. So some are reacting to the fact that you're running. Uh, if you are walking, they won't get out of their sleep. Some enemies, when you go to them, are fleeing the opposite way, so they are giving you some leeway to, to dodge. Some enemies are stopping their movement whenever they see you, and some enemies are just uh, going into either a pattern or on their own, and uh, you, or that enemy is just not moving, so that's a thing. Those are going into circles, and they are changing their ways whenever they see you. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. One, two, three, four. Did I do it? No. Okay. So that's really, really between four and four and a half. So one, two, three, four should be there. Really, it was working just fine. I I did practice. There you go. So normally I shouldn't be able to access that way. <laughs> Thank you. From that particular area because you need to teleport from there and the item to teleport normally uh, isn't available now. So I'm gonna start a step a bit because the, the boss frame is like literally next to it and I need that item. If I were entering the area by the normal way, I could have uh, got that, that item no biggie and uh, that's it. So this fight is against Kikinak. It's um, it's not a spirit, it's an old man uh, trying to repel anyone entering his sanctuary to, to prove uh, his might. And he's also susceptible to fire. So I'm gonna use my fire items. So I'm gonna use two tier 1's fire spell and two tier 2's fire spell. And you will have to look out for the health because that guy can act twice in a row. He can also crit. So you don't want that to happen. Normally one uh, healing item is enough. As you can see, the health bar is already at half of it. And I should have enough room to use my next two items. Catchy tune. It's very exotic. I love it. And here you go. So that is Kikinak. Bravo. So I think uh, Jack of Arts is responsible. Oh, nice drop! Uh, responsible for that strat because earlier on, uh, the, the former route was uh, using monsters already, and as we couldn't exploit the fire element weakness, we were trying to to use some fire items to. Um, drain a bit of the boss's HP and then we would finish the job with uh, the monsters so they could get levels but here we just took that to our advantage thanks to the item that raises the magic right so we showed uh, a key item to the to the old woman and now we're gonna talk to our wife because she has powers she can perform Nagi magic and that magic is related to the monsters she can heal them she can make you equip them with your... Uh, she can hear you and she can also turn monsters into um, silks. So those are the wipes. So I'm gonna equip uh, 
those two monsters and I'm gonna rename them if they have a, a new name. So I'm gonna have to ask for the Arpatron name if there is one, please. Yes, indeed. The Arpatron name is Leviathan. Leviathan. Cool yep. name. Plus, it's related to the water element, so good job for whoever did that. Leviathan. Good job. I love that name. Okay, and I'm gonna have also for Mardrake. Yep. Uh, Mardrake is Stomp Me. <laughs> okay. Stomp is Me. Is there a space between the two? Uh, yes. Stomp Space Me. Oh, okay. These are that quality. These are both very good names. All right. Uh, quality naming. Yeah. I would have called them both Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we we equip the monsters and we're gonna proceed with the next forests. So as I already said, uh, why? I shouldn't get that. Why did I get that? That's weird. I should I shouldn't be. Because she uh, loves you. Yeah, but you should get that, um... Oh, I know why. I did uh, the equipment way too early, but that better early than never. Um, so the game still thinks that I'm in the forest, so instead of going from the very entrance, I'm still coming out of the forest. And I'm gonna go to the next one, which is... Spider. Spider forest. Arachnid forest. Yep. So the first forest was the beetle forest. Next one was the dragonfly, and this is the spider. I love the... Bongos. Yes. The jungle rhythm. Yeah. So I'm gonna do another tricky glitch. Here. So you have to place yourself inside the the door without even really reaching it. It's a I'm tricky one. <laughs> and you have not to get caught by the monster. And it worked. Nice. <laughs> so I'm onto an area that is locked normally so you would have to do some fetch questing and uh thanks to that war warp i don't have to do that so i'm saving an entire segment so there was a key hidden over there so the keys can either uh open chests or can be sold as well they have values those enemies haha <laughs> those are working differently from what i was saying if you turn your back they're gonna advance if you don't they're gonna stop so you try to manipulate the upper one, which will also manipulate the one in that screen. So as you can see, he's not moving, is slightly onto the, the left, so we dodge to the right. So that's as simple as that, but you have to know about that monster, because if you lure the monster onto the left, it's going to lure the other monster to the right. It's a bit, uh, a bit tricky. It's a really tricky segment. I've, I think I've probably done it once. Yeah. And I'm known for uh, for failing that um, that teleport and somehow running into monsters. So sometimes I die and I have to redo the segment with only one HP because you cannot heal yourself yet because you are saving your items. You cannot also afford to go back to your village to seek your your wife for for assistance. So you have to do everything with one HP. It's so scary. Uh, so here, scenario-wise, uh, instead of helping the forest uh, for giving you the powers to protect everyone, you were given an item by the ancients of the village uh, to capture the very spirit of the forest. So you were tricked into an evil scheme, which were uh, which was leading to um, a very gray, uh, a very um, how can I say that? Not, it's, it's not important, it's pretty major. Uh, it's a bit sad because they, are, they were searching for the cause of that evil and they thought that it was uh, the old woman. They are uh, suspecting her to be a witch and she's gonna reveal that she is indeed a witch but not the one they were thinking. So she's not the witch of death but she's the witch of the souls. And by sacrificing her, uh, it's gonna turn all the village to stone except for one person and uh, I mean I can let you it's guess. It's the little boy right? Yep. It's gotta yep. be. It's, it's yeah. gonna be. Little so brother. he's called Louis. So we are gonna obviously switch characters or are we? Nope. Cool. Alright. 
Eero is immune to that goddess. Well, it's all plot. He he definitely bought his Phoenix pinion or whatever. <laughs> gold needles. <laughs> <His> gold needles. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, hello, besto friendo. Sorry for you. He was rushing to his love. What do you get for hitting on my girl? And get turned uh, to stone. Where is she? Wait, what? She disappeared. What a what a tale of tragedy this is. So this is the last key for the last forest, and a fairy appears. And remember, the fairies are related to one tribe, the Nagi tribe. So because of the sacrifice of the goddess of the souls, uh, the Nagi female representative uh, has been turned into a fairy, a very tiny version, of, a very tiny waifu. And uh, she's going to explain us that we have to carry on our journey to find the cause to restore the balance between light and darkness because right now the world is, in, is surrounded heavily by darkness and we are the light. You are the light. Did Levant know she was a fairy when he started seeing her? No. Like he knew she, she was coming from a, a tribe from the outside world but he didn't know where what she was really. That's one of those things you might mention, you know, on a second date. You know, like you know, it's an organized wedding, so you might skip some details to make it all happen. Not in the paperwork. <laughs> you know, might turn into a fairy. <laughs> right. So due to elemental triggers, I don't know if the monster of the area is the one I'm looking for. So I'm gonna try and bait him to appear on the screen. If I can, then I'm gonna take that item. So where is the... Uh, got a few donations. Yeah, few. go for it. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, got a anonymous $10 donation that says, $20 percent stream to run will live on. <laughs> <laughs> Best run of ESA. <laughs> so thanks for that, whoever you are. Uh, Jackal2419 donates $15 saying, Appreciate the hard work. Well done to all runners. Save the children. And uh, Makibeki donates $5 saying, Donating on behalf of my beautiful brother, the Jack of Hearts. Good luck, Leonis. Thank you. Uh, so here, that fight will serve to level up one of my monsters, but before that, I'm going to weaken uh, that enemy. So I'm going to use my last tier 2 spell, uh, Fire, because Fire is effective against uh, Air. So the red F is powerful against the yellow A. And I'm going to use some tier 1 Fire spells. So I'm going to use two of them. So the real question is, where is the $20 going to work? How many runs can we infect with a $20 percent? Oh, you can infect many runs with that. Good. So now the enemy is quite low on HP. He's running out also on magics, as you can see for normal attacks. I'm going to summon Stomp Me. I'm going to have to remember which one is which. And uh, he's an Air Elemental 2, level 3, and the game works a bit particularly on level ups do you know the the stuff about it Did i've heard about levels you, you've in this heard? game could you try and explain it so that enemy was a, a, a higher level than us right yep so this is a really groovy mechanic that more games need to incorporate um so the level experience scales depending on the enemy's level in relation to your character's level or your monster's level so if the enemy's level is higher than your monster's level, then when you level up, your level scales directly to the same as what the enemy's level was. Um, if you're the same level, then you get a fixed amount of experience, so like a times one multiplier. And if you're a higher level than they are, then you get a point, f like minus point five or like half experience yeah. um, for that fight. So it actually scales really well in the game. And I mean, it's, it's a beautiful idea. I love the idea of defeating a stronger enemy and just going straight to their level. <laughs> so we're level 10 now on... Yeah, we are level 10. Stumpy. And it's, yep, it's going to serve for the next uh, major boss. And that major boss will also serve for level up strats. So before talking to that guy, Ooh. we can uh, encounter that guy three times into the game. This is the very first time we encounter him, but we are also normally able to encounter him in the previous two forests. Uh, my monsters are okay, I'm okay, so I can talk to that guy. He's a poacher, he's a skilled hunter. He also have uh, as a monster, but we are gonna summon ours first, thanks to the ocarina. A cool feature about that ocarina 
When you capture monsters, you raise your uh, capture level. And the higher level you are, the different the music the, ocar the, ocar the ocarina will make. So that's great of a feature. There are lots of little nuances in the game that are really well thought out. And just, just a real great match. It's a really, really well designed game. Cool, I'm gonna get the three cycle. Um, so my monster is El Elemental. The, the opponent one is Earth Elemental. So air is efficient against Earth. <coughs> Why, I wouldn't be able to know. But yeah, so sometimes we can get um, a monster, an, a Mardrake, capable of two-shotting the monster, but most of the time uh, you get the, the other kind of Arbitron. Uh, Mardrake, and also you can, uh, I didn't count, I should be able to with withstand that. <gasps> okay. <sighs> right, lit oh <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, the, the main hero. What just happened is back to back from the enemy and us, we got a crit. Uh, this crit is very welcome. I'm probably gonna get another hit in. Uh... So the kind of intensity that I live for in my speed games. Good. So what we did is to lower the poacher level, so we can gotcha. summon Leviathan. <laughs> no, we cannot capture humanoids. You cannot also capture the monster of someone. And as you can see, Leviathan is level one, and normally, with a water attack, he can kill the poacher, and he's gonna take approximately the level of the poacher, which should be level eleven. I got many drops, I love it. Uh, so, right, we, we did the, the poacher. It gives us um, a key that we're gonna use pretty soon. So, I'm gonna use for once and only once the teleportation uh, item for his right purpose. The normal for reason. For the normal reason, which is to get outside because it saves time to do that instead of the backtracking. And we're going to proceed with what is the half part of the game. So I'm going to take an... <laughs> uh, I got caught. Um, I'm going to try and flee. Hopefully it's going to work. You got a double turn. So normally I take a very, very... Wide line. Wide line on the top of the screen to avoid that enemy because he's quite responsive to our prisons. Uh, those enemies will stop whenever you go in front of them. Hello. If I could wave, I would wave every time. Uh, the next screen is a bit tricky because you have to anticipate the line to put the key the poacher got you because the enemies are frozen but are g coming back whenever you're starting. I'm going to take an extra item for extra gear safety. And for like a good 10, 10 minutes, except for, for scenario, nothing major will happen. So if you have any more donations, you can go for them. Sweet. Um, we have two donations in at the moment. One, one $10 donation from Kifa, And it says, Kifa. <laughs> we have an anonymous $5 donation. And I completely agree with this. The comment says, the runner's storytelling is 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do try my best to you score full marks. Yay! Plus two points for the uh, for the style. Yeah, I try to do my best to cover everything that I know. <laughs> to the to. Uh, I'm not gonna challenge you in your your story knowledge. Why uh, is this a cocoon? Why is it? It looks a lot like uh, a like it looks a sack like or an egg. It looks like the beetle that we that it's it's a sort of a cocoon. So um, the funny thing about that game is that it's called J Cocoon Story Ooh. of the Tamamayu, and if you want to try and translate Tamamayu from Japanese to English, Cocoon, story it's, of the Cocoon. it's J Cocoon. So <laughs> it's literally J Cocoon, the story of the J Cocoon. And this is supposedly the cocoon in question because it's um, hosting inside the Nagi tribe, which only consists in three people. I love this bit. I think this area is really cool. Yep. So this is the halfway point of the speedrun. So I'm looking at the time. It's going decently. It's gone perfectly. It's really, really good. 
right? So those little screens, you can just uh, skip them with start and the text with the X button. And you have to enable the analog mode to be able to use uh, the shoulder triggers because otherwise you, they wouldn't be recognized for yeah, some they don't activate. weird reasons. So our, our tiny fairy waifu is telling us to proceed onwards because... Uh, the Nagi tribe will help him to fulfill his destiny. Three doors. Three uh, Egyptian gods. Why not? I would have gone with uh, some South American tribe or kind of Well, the left door vibe. was blue for Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> the red one is the middle for Slifer. And the one on the right was gold for Ra. Uh, pretty sure the Egyptian gods are banned, though, in tournament play. Oh. <laughs> well... What are we going to do? <laughs> this is a speed run. We make up our own rules. <laughs> if there's anything that we learned yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Donate $20 now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks to find out why. Right. So um, those three people are actually a father and two, two daughters. Um, the father are telling us that the key uh, we were gathering around the forests uh, are the items that will unlock new locations into the darkness, the realm of darkness. We're still onto the Yu-Gi-Oh theme, I don't know why. And um, thanks to that, we're going to be able to traverse some more places that you already know, but with different musics and different vibes to it. And there will be bosses, major bosses into, uh, into those new forests that will help us get some new key items to get everywhere else and complete the game but before that we're gonna require the assistance of uh, both of these girls uh, so the blue green one will go into the blue green door and the pink red one will go into the red door and they have very specific roles so I'm gonna go over both of them so first I go back you can see all the dragons it's so I'm gonna go into the... Oh, it's actually the green door. So, red lady, green door. Not making any sense. She's the um, supplying lady. She can make a shop. So, we're gonna sell m many things. I'm gonna sell almost everything. Except... Uh, yeah. Except the excellent liquors. Because I need those. And I have two of them. Which is great. I already have all the money I need. But before buying anything else... I'm gonna buy some weapons. I'm gonna buy a little bird, which we're gonna raise my agility, my magic potential, and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna go other, which are the accessories, the add-ons. I'm gonna go with a sparrow ruff to raise my speed, to give me more chance to run from battles and to get the, the, the initiative into the battles. And now I'm gonna buy items. So I'm gonna buy uh, five sleep powders, I, I used one in the previous forest before that to make the all the monsters on the map sleeping for a short amount of time. I'm gonna take two Mirror of Divas. I'm gonna tell you what it what it's doing. I'm gonna take some excellent liquors, but for that before that I'm gonna take some Meta Mugwords. I still have enough for two of them. I'm gonna buy some regular ones, and that's pretty much it. We good. Say goodbye. Split? No. Uh, this is a location where I would split. And we're gonna go to the blue door. She's the equivalent of our waifu. She can heal us and our monsters. And I'm gonna do that for saving all the healing items I just bought for not running short of them. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced it good, but Mirror of Devas, maybe? Uh, I love a diva mirror. Uh, uh, instead of the diva, because I think the hero is a kind of a diva to have a mirror on himself to just hmm, check out this this wonder boy. Um, so the Mirror of Deva is making you immune f uh, against uh, status ailments that some bosses can do for three turns. So I'm taking two of them because I'm gonna confront two major bosses with two possibilities of status ailments so one for each is enough if I were running glitchless I would have taken uh, three to four of them 
because there's an extra fight to do and we need to use one inside. So I'm going to quickly mash the menu button to open it without letting the monsters inside the forest to get any action. As you can see, I just stopped that dragon to come forward so I can dodge. Right, so don't replicate this whenever you pick that game up. That that enemy has a huge hitbox, but I'm supposed to to dodge it, and I did a bad. But I'm gonna do a, a good with that one. Th this one is tricky because the the walls are quite uh, quite thin. Um, right, so I'm going along. I'm gonna have to turn right here. And I'm gonna look for a specific enemy to do a fight with to abuse the level level up system to my advantage. Uh, not this one. Oh, this one was quite. Uh, I always forget this one is there. So, thankfully, we got that enemy from behind, so we would have been able to get two turns in a row if we weren't succeeding to. Uh, to flee right away. So there's a wolf, a red wolf here. I'm gonna fight it. It's not recommended. I should have just gone away, but it's the early way to do that. I'm gonna summon my Arbitron, who has the right element to take on to the fire, which is water. The blue W. So I'm gonna use a special attack. And then I'm gonna use some um, normal attacks, so I'm gonna have to count the damages to not overdo it. I still have a possibility to do that. 54, so that was 34 damage. I can still do one regular. Good, 20. I'm gonna switch to Stomp Me. And he's gonna use a special attack to kill that monster to get an extra level. There you go. Nice. So far, so good. Normally that kind of enemy is really high on agility, so he tends to to dodge everything. I'm gonna go over that screen, I'm gonna match mash the menu button because I don't want the enemies to take any extra step. Another sleep spore. I'm gonna try and dodge that one by hugging the right wall. Nice. It's a very tight window. And I'm gonna try and dodge that one. I'm gonna proceed with a glitch. This one is the easiest to set up. All you have to do is to make your character disappear over that trunk. The tree trunk. So I'm gonna start a step a bit. You can't see him anymore. Menu button. Teleport item. And it's enough to create the warm warp. Where did he go? Where did he go? Here. And we just have to go over there. So I'm gonna check that everyone is healed up. Yep. Perfect. And I'm going to proceed onwards. So you might recognize that place. It's the very same place as the very same forest. This is the, um, the master teacher location. But first he's appearing like out of nowhere. But he is consumed by some form of jealousy uh, towards the hero. Because he's the chosen of light. <coughs> and not him though all of the years of experience and that jealousy that darkness is enough to create uh the occurrence of that fire uh, that fire boss i mean he did teleport into his hut about 10 minutes ago true he you might know. he might hold a grunge against me were that me i probably wouldn't be that much pleased it's like oh yeah yeah help yourself to my stuff <laughs> right so i just use one of the mirror of deva because that monster can do poison attacks And the monster designs are creepy in this game. This one is can, kind of scary, so the name Stutorus is already using a move I don't want to see. So that move is a draining aim, uh, mana one. Ooh, crit. Thank you. Operatron is really into crits. My monsters are into crits. Uh, th the monsters have three different patterns. Oh, go inside your hut. Um, he has a fire magic attack. This one. This is the one you want to see the most. Uh, he has the draining mana mana attack. I'm gonna just do that because I can. Fire. I'm gonna have to, to to see the damage. I can take one poison tail, and he has the poison tail. So he, he's gonna fly. 
there. Bump. And the mirror just triggered and protected us from the poison status ailment. So I'm gonna switch to my hero to use a, a liquor, the beverage, that heals my monster for full. I think in game it must be just like sake or anything of the sort. Right, so that's good. I can re-summon Leviathan to end this fight quick. So hopefully Tutoris won't drain much more mana. He should be dead in two hits. Of course. Hopefully he's gonna use the poison tail. Oh, double turn. Good. No need. No need for that. So what I'm gonna do is to take some regular attacks. No, I'm gonna defend. So defend works uh, different into that game compared to other RPGs. Uh, when you defend, it restores your mana by 10% of your total amount of mana possible. So I have 50 mana, so it restores 5 at a time. And the more mana you have, the better the defense is. And uh, you can just uh, get along. So I'm going to switch to Stomp Me because he's going to benefit from the levels from that boss. And I'm going to do special attacks. Normally two of them should be sufficient. And a normal attack. Mash, mash, mash. So... I don't know if you guys just saw it, but the monsters, the higher level they are, the bigger they become on screen. Tendai Hiaku, I'm so lucky. I just got uh, a reviving, a resurrecting item as a drop. This is a rare drop. So, our tutor <laughs> just realized that he was consumed by darkness, and as he was defeated, he's turning into a crystal. The Jewel of Fire. Of course. And this is our new kind of fetch quest. We are going to try and retrieve all the elemental ju jewels to restore the balance of the light over the darkness. The game uh, gave us the Jewel of Water because there's no water boss. Explanation. I don't know why. Maybe... the Space on the disc. Yeah, <laughs> space on the disc. Maybe the dev team was like having some delay on that product or anything. So the game was acting a bit weird. You couldn't see the character, but he was definitely there. Uh, that's because of the um, the glitch. It, messed, it messes with the game so much that it creates some conflicts with the sprite. Uh, so the game wasn't registering the presence of the character, but he was still acting. He's taki taking actions. So there you go. So this is the second to last forest. I'm gonna trigger the menu so I'm gonna use a slip spore and I'm gonna heal myself I'm gonna heal my monsters in advance and I'm gonna proceed on so all the fights I'm gonna have right now I'm gonna try and flee them the best I can or dodge them if I have the place for it the space these are a bit tricky because they are high on agility so they don't let you go that easily but somehow it worked this one needs to be really done cautiously uh, this one you want to take him heads on because sometimes the game uh, if you stumble across that enemy from the back sometimes the game receives it as uh, the, the monster got you from the back so it will give the monster two turns and that's not what you want because those monsters are quite powerful so you might recognize this forest, we went into them, it's the dragonfly. So it's the new name is the Nether Dragonfly Forest. Ooh, edgy. Nether War. This one I'm gonna take it head on to. It can be one or two monsters. I got the two version of it. This one is very tricky to run from. Or not. And instead of performing a glitch right here. I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna take that little snail path going in spiral. 
and I'm gonna perform the glitch next to that little arcade so it's not that hard you really just need to be over there really and you trigger the menu you teleport and it should be the the right amount of frame yep the music changed means that worked I'm into the forest and I'm gonna perform the very last glitch it is a very tricky one I hope I'm gonna get it right not sure I'm gonna quit Shh. Mm. I'm bad with this one. Okay, got it. Yes. Nice. So this one is a rare monster. He's gonna flee if you go towards it. And I have the right enemy for the level ups. Nice. So this is the set of enemies I want. And all the elemental switches I did throughout the game, uh, intentionally or in unintentionally, was meant for that encounter. If I did Great. it wrong, I would have got uh, the blue version of the goat over there. And I would have got the yellow version of that little dragon. It's lovely there's a boxing goat with demon wings in this game. Yep. So I'm going to kill that one with Mardrake for the level 16. And I'm going to switch to Leviathan to weaken... That monster, thanks to the water power, I'm gonna have to count damage. So, 4, 30. Hey, or, yeah. or not. 244. I can take another one. Yeah, and I'm gonna switch back to Mardrek. So, he has the, the, the weak element compared to that monster but I'm gonna use a special attack to get rid of the remaining HP if I don't die uh oh okay Whew. I'm just gonna go for safety I'm gonna use special attacks because they are less likely to miss technically magic pure magic doesn't miss all right I'm gonna heal my monsters one last time well, not last time, but what I can. And I'm going to proceed over. So, two enemy... Well, three enemies left, but there will, there will be one we won't take. I'm going to trigger that one. There. I'm going to use a slip spore. I have one left if I want, so I'm going to dodge here from that. And I don't know where the other one is. Oh! I should be able to dodge it. So, I'm going to proceed carefully. No too much of a hitbox so I can't normally I should be able to run from that good escape rate quite on point today 100%. quite on point so this is the very last uh, part so I'm fully healed because uh, this part is a bit tricky uh, if you play the Japanese version uh, there will be two fights incoming in the Japanese version, you cannot heal or do anything between those two battles. You have to chain them. So you have to be really prepared, item-wise and level-wise. Whereas in this version, you can take time into the, the result screen menu to heal yourself and to take on the next battle afterwards. So this is our wife, the spirit of our wife, manifest manifesting itself. And she's also consumed a bit by darkness because she's the one that has been sacrificed alongside um, the old woman to the village. She has been the one turned into a little fairy instead of a human. And she's turning into that ugliness. She's the bad guy? She's the bad guy with a big nose. I never saw that coming. If it's his nose. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to use a mirror of Deva on stop me because the earth boss has an earth minion and what is good against earth um <laughs> fire water wind yeah that one air, air. yeah of course it's air oh, is it not hard no <laughs> uh i'm gonna use uh, special attacks to drain so that monster it's, is a giant two big legs so that monster never skipped leg day ever you know things are serious when the camera has to pan up just to see the enemy you're fighting yep 
So I'm gonna have to look uh, over that monster because he, he's gonna do one thing I'm gonna have to, to look after. Sometimes he just is gonna stomp the ground. Or he's just gonna teabag me. So he probably is gonna... I'm gonna defend. T probably twice. No, okay, I'm good. This is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna take the chance. I don't know if it will work, but I'm gonna take the chance definitely. Easily. Yep. Stompless. He's gonna stomp. Ooh. Stomp me is living up. Yep. To its name. Good. It's a deterrent. So the enemy can sometimes stomp the ground. That means he's gonna prepare a humongous physical attack. You just have to defend when you see that. I'm going to switch to Leviathan and he's going to take care of the Earth boss because the, the Earth boss, even though the name suggests that he's related to Earth, actually doesn't have any elemental affiliation. So you can just use whatever monster you can. You can also crit with those big arms. So his monster never skipped leg day. He never skipped arm day. <laughs> and together they form the greatest Megazord ever seen. <laughs> Kinda, kind of, kind of. And this is the Earth boss. Yes. So I have to proceed carefully through the result screen. I don't want to miss the opportunity to heal. So here we go. I'm gonna use excellent liquor. Just fine. I'm even looted on items for in fight if I if anything goes wrong. So the, the final boss is about to come, so you call forth the final boss by combining all four duels. So our waifu will give us the very last duel. And as you can just realize, there's one duel that we didn't retrieve, but the game considers that we have because of the glitch. It's the, the air duel, the yellow one. And there is an air boss, but thanks to the glitch, we just skipped him, and the game considered that we beat him and granted us the key item related to it. So that's one of the very neat features of that glitch. It's forcing the game into giving us the completion uh, <coughs> needed to go onwards and onwards and onwards. So it's a very cooperative game. All four crystals, just like the Legend of Zelda, that's flavor to it final and final fantasy as well we restored the life crystal. to the crystals of course fantasy one. and those f four crystals uh, w which were born from darkness uh, are calling forth the chosen of darkness so we are the chosen of light and we are calling for the chosen of darkness and that chosen of darkness might be a common figure Oh, El Zorro. <laughs> it's the Dream Man. So the Dream Man wasn't just a dream. Eventually, he is the final boss. But there's a no another twist to it, but I'm not going to spoil it right now. Is he a loot player? Uh, it's a sitar, I think. They've got sitar in this lore? With the sound that it makes, I don't think it's a loot more right. of a sitar What's so it? yeah <laughs> so that, that enemy is particular um, it can change element whenever it, it wants so it starts on the earth element so we're gonna call forth arm mar uh, stop me and gonna use special attacks so we're gonna see what he does so hopefully you want to spend all the turns you can into the weak element. So he's changing now. I, I was really lucky. Normally you only get one turn uh, into earth. So we should resist all this, but we still continue with special attack. It's doing normal damage. Oh, early fire change. So fire is more powerful than air. So we're gonna go with water and we're gonna co call for special attacks as well. Hopefully we're gonna be able to spend an extra turn in fire. Cool. Very nice. And the last form is water. And this form is annoying because the boss gains the ability to heal himself. Hopefully he's not going to do that. And I spoke too soon again. So we're going to try and 
lure the boss into an extra earth cycle, if I may say so. Kamehameha Beam, Dragon Ball Z fans right there. Double turn. One more hit. Oh, uh, earth. I'm going to do something. I'm going to kill that way. Good. And I'm going to summon Mardrek right after. Because hopefully I have enough. So whenever we are into the, the right... Well, it's going to take like two special attacks and... Oh. Well, two special attacks and one normal if the boss doesn't... All right. Oh. Of course, the enemy just crits, crits us. I'm gonna try and go for normal attacks right now, if I can. And no biggie if anyone's die. Just two more hits, and I'm gonna be able to hit the button. I'm gonna be right on, right on time. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Faster, faster! Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> One second and four, four Wow, I'm gonna go over that because I don't care anymore. <laughs> right, so this was the any percent run, and oh, look who it is. So the dream man is, I don't know, is our father. Wow, it's turning into a Star Wars kind of plot. <laughs> every story ever. Yeah. And he doesn't have an eye, because it's more yeah. edgy. So yeah, he's our father, and maybe the character just wanted to, sh to shout, No! Something like that. Right, so... Um, I'm going to let a bit of um, the last scene. Do you think you're ready for... Yep, I was born ready. <laughs> So this is the final cutscene. I'm gonna restart the console right after, and we are gonna go with the two incentives that has been that have been met. First is the glitching couch musician right there. So heavy metal. Dad. Do you think it's a lute or more of a sitar or something like that? Well, I mean, it's we're not. I mean, sitar is based in India, and it's definitely not Indian music. But I mean, this is a fantasy world. <laughs> yeah. I think this is Majora's Mask, isn't it? I wonder. It, it is now. Eh? Yeah, the band's all here. Yeah. So, the Chosen of Light and the Chosen of Darkness are just playing some music along. And the two restore. dragons? Yep. And the two dragons kiss and make dragon. What happens now? Dragon baby. No, it's just restoring the balance between light and darkness. No, no, it's, it's Dragon Baby Spyro's up next. Shh. <laughs> right, so, yeah. <laughs> it restores everyone, so everyone turning into a stone is restored to his original form. Our wife is back from being a fairy into a normal human. we killed human. her. No. Because the dark world was just manifesting some spirits related to to us, and spirits that could hold a grudge uh, onto us and have that bit of darkness inside. So you could relate to Kingdom Hearts before the hour, thanks to that. and <laughs> the guardian deities of light and darkness, shall be released by the twin dragons. So, yep. So the the two chosen of light and darkness released their inner power, which were the twin dragons of uh, Reiku, I think, and those dragons were the um, the ambassadors of two deities that were originally together and bringing peace to the world. So I'm gonna restart the game for proceeding with the incentives. So we're gonna proceed with um, normal disk speed. Does it reset the? Can't it? It depends. Sometimes. Ha <laughs> ha Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky me. So I'm gonna have to. Yep, yeah, it's still on. Oh. 
Hopefully it's gonna read the disc. I had the same problem just before the run. And hopefully it's gonna... Don't feel me now. <laughs> just don't feel me now. <laughs> please. Try and swipe it a bit. Hopefully, it's gonna work. the The disc is quite old. It's an old game. I think it's from 2000, 2001. I'm not sure. If I look into that. Uh, <coughs> it's working. <laughs> Just giving you more time to see if the children. If there, the if there are any donations that can go on while I do the setup, feel free to do so. I was just going to say there's uh, a few donation incentives coming up. So uh, go for it. After we've got the uh, after we've got the, uh, the couple of showcases, we'll be running the Spyro Reignited trilogy, specifically the first game, Spyro the Dragon. There's a few bid wars on there. Firstly, the soundtrack. Uh, we can bid between the original and the reignited soundtrack. Uh, at the moment, uh, the just the nominated original soundtrack is winning. But if you're a fan of the reignited one instead, you can donate towards that. Um, we are also choosing C Spyro's color. Um, currently, Red Spyro is winning uh, at eleven dollars, and uh, original color Purple Spyro is uh, in second with five dollars. Uh, but you can also vote for yellow, purple, pink, blue, or green. I'm actually not sure what the difference is between purple and original, because surely he was originally purple, but uh, that is one of the options. Um, and then finally, a showcase to do the rolling air glitch um, from Spyro 2, and uh, that has $114 left to go of its target. We're $86 in for our $200 goal. Right, so I'm going to... I'm I'm gonna go to a location where you can perform the glitch and it's gonna do something significant. Cool. So we are in the dra Nether Dragonfly Forest, and uh, it's a save that I made because I was in front of the boss that we never get to fight. So hopefully it's not gonna take too long. It's gonna be the the little arcade glitch that you don't like. And uh, it should be okay because now I can pretty much dodge everything. Wait, you've got a third monster. I have a third what monster. What are these lies? Uh, which will serve for the the lost in translation battle. <laughs> All right, uh, I need to go over there. There's one more enemy to dodge. I'm gonna take it full frontal. Or not, because he's not there anymore. Oh yeah, because of the save. Yeah, I, I, uh, in my save, I already got there because I thought it was the right path, but nope. So I'm going to set you halfway. I'm going to make you go oh, down here. And you're going to try to reach the location to perform the glitch. So remember, to go ahead, you have to go triangle or thing. And you have to be very close to the entrance to hit the menu button with circle. And use the hunter's hearing. Am I close yet? Uh, I think you already warped into the. I, d I did. I watched yep. myself do it. Yep. So this is a bit tricky because the window is very tight, but ah. also very easy to reach. So sometimes you just have to do one little stutter step, and it's good. That is that one is good. That, was, that felt good. All right. So you press X. You go to valuables, and you press the hunter's hearing. Or you could try and use another item. I want to use the proper key. <laughs> and normally you perform the glitch, so. Here you go. And um, no. GG, so now you've done it. Uh, you can also go ahead, there's another glitch. Unprecedented you, video so gaming skill. This one is. Stop there. This one is very tricky. Do you see the little space here? Of light in the door. Yeah. You have to go as close as you can. So try and 
pivot a bit, advance a bit, uh, walk a bit, again, more, a little bit more, again, 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 again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call for a stop. We're gonna have to see the feet on on the screen. L one more, and try and run and open the menu at the same time. Sh should be able to work. Hmm? If it doesn't work, then it's not a problem. I can just uh, use the the save and proceed along the next incentive because you already did one of the glitch and that was part of the contract. So, oh, so good. yeah, th this one is very tricky to do, but I managed to do it. So I'm gonna go over here. Or you, you can do that. You can trigger the the safe point. <laughs> or I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The safe point is here, and I'm gonna reload the safe. To perform the second incentive, so it's only gonna t go with one take. I cannot afford to just spend my time over here because there are other runners ready for overtaking the the spot. So it is the er the the air elemental boss. And so far we saw our tutor being consumed by darkness. We also saw the waifu being consumed by darkness. And this guy comes up, transform into someone else that we know. That we didn't really get to meet at all. And it's Kelmar, our best friend. And he's purely jealous because we got the waifu and he, he couldn't. Classic. Maybe if he tried a bit harder. Man number one worldwide problem. And this is the wind boss. He looks a lot like the earth boss. Yep. With less of a big of a nose. Um, so this battle is tricky. Just the trickiest of all. I'm going to use a mirror of Deva on myself. Because the minion that is about to be called can use a normal attack imbued with the sleep touch. And sometimes you just can use an elemental attack that can just one-shot me. Good. So hopefully I'm going to get a double turn. So I'm going to set that the extra mirror on the extra monster that we didn't get to meet yet. And I'm going to summon him. Look, listen to the music. It's the same. Oh, yeah. I wish I was at another level. So it's a big one. It's a big Petachu. And I'm going to try and weaken the boss as much as I can and kill it with another guy. So there's another cool feature of the game that we haven't even touched on that's arguably one of the coolest. Uh, and you can merge creatures? Yeah. So if you capture two different creatures you can go back um, to the hut and you can like merge them together and create new ones. Um, and this got really taken to the, the nth degree of the second Jake Kuhn, just titled Jake Kuhn 2 yep. uh, for the PlayStation 2 and it is it, it's just like this scaled up, like to 11, um, and in that one, I think you can have like a party of five or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and that, that is just so much fun, just capturing a bunch of different monsters and combining them and merging things. Very, very cool. So, he can heal. He can also put us to sleep. So we wanna, we're gonna see. It doesn't really matter if I die right now. I can just use another monster. All what I try to do is to weaken. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go with Arbitron. So yeah, the monster have their original name. So far, the battle isn't going that bad. Really, it could have go it could have gone worse way sooner. Like I said, that monster could just one shot us right from the start. So hopefully it's gonna come to an end very soon. Double turn. All right. Cool. I'm gonna switch to my fire monster. He's gonna die right after because of um, of the wind boss. There you go. That's Citarian down. That's one of the monster we never get to see because of the glitch. He's gonna kill us. There you go. And hopefully, Arbitron will be able to do the rest. Ah, he's quite bad in shape. Hmm. 
you want to heal with a meta mugwort? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and heal him. I I think I still have one. Liqueur. L liqueur left. I'm not sure. I have. Oh, I have slendy. <laughs> wow. I think okay. I have uh, oh six. So hopefully I'm not in danger. Because the boss himself can get a double turn. Yeah. And now all I have to do is to chain all the special attacks and kill the boss. And that's how you want that fight to happen in a glitchless setup. And if you go the glitchless way, it adds up about 25 to a half an hour. And that's it. That was J Cocoon, Story of the Tamamayu. Uh, very happy to showcase this run once more. I hope it will bring more people into it. I'm pretty willingly uh, ready to share my notes if anyone wants. And that's pretty much it for me. So thank you guys for having donated for, for the support. And thank you for the commentary and uh, the assistance. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for me. So if you guys are ready to to switch, I'm ready to, to depart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Fantastic run, fantastic commentary, and Thank underestimates. You. Yep, by one second. No, completely underestimate. Completely, oh, no. completely. Yep. I crushed it. Underestimate. <laughs> yes. Very, very accurate estimating there. <laughs>
Disco Dancer. Hello and welcome back to Say Winter. So that was Jay Cocoon's so Story of the Tamamayo by Leonis with just one second underestimate. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done, Leonis. <laughs> that was really great. I loved it. Oh my. Okay. So as Robo has recently told us, we have several incentives coming up that we really want to meet and actually there's been some changes like the color of spyro yeah that's jumped around quite a bit after uh after uh, yeah after rubble told after rubble. us about it it's like it's the original color now mm -hmm. so if you want if you hate the original color if you can't stand it you you should you should donate you can change that you have time but time is limited guys and gals so please hurry up because otherwise you will have to You'll have to like deal with that for the whole game, for the whole yeah. run. That's going to be terrible for you if you're like really, really, really have strong feelings about that. I, I do. Know, some, someone uh, in chat told me that the uh, original color is actually just the original poly uh, polygonal version of Spyro from the original PS1 era. Oh, she was like well, kind of low poly uh, as opposed to the rest of the environment, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You know, All just right. to just to uh, bring in the nostalgia. Or, ah. or like destroying your childhood memories. <laughs> you you never know. So if you hate that, if you don't want that to happen, you should you should donate for something else. You should donate for uh, some other colors. And talking about incentives, we have some some pretty good ones coming up a little bit later. Really? Yeah, we have Kingdom Hearts three just a couple of hours, and Ooh. one of the incentives is the Arendelle song cutscenes. So our wonderful genie is going to view the cutscenes and maybe, just maybe, he'll sing along. Do you know what that means? That means that... Oh my, I just... I'm lost for words. I, I mean, want that. I've, I've met Ginny. He's a pretty cool guy. Kick my ass at Smash. He's, <laughs> uh, I think, you know... Do you he'll, want? Prob he'll probably be in the mood to, to sing along a little bit. Are you sure? Do you want do you want that to happen? I would love for that to happen. That, so we haven't met that incentive yet, but you can you can change that. We have plenty of time. We've plenty of time. Yeah, this yeah. uh, spiral is going to be on for a little under two hours, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, a little under two hours. Yeah. Can I just add a clarification? I've just been told that uh, I was lied to in chat. The original color is the normal color because polygonal Spyro changes the hitbox so you can't use it in the run. Ooh, that's... Yeah, actually has an actual effect on the run. Oh my. Oh my, I feel Why so would lied you do to. This? I feel so very lied to. Please, please donate and change it. <laughs> oh my. Because yeah, I did see a certain donation by one Robo Sparkle. Yeah, right. Donated $20. Did that go to the original color? <laughs> it might have. No. Are you saying? Ooh, oh. No. No. Okay. Right. Unless I'm lying. Okay. Okay. Are you lying, though? Maybe. <laughs> that sounded... That I, I heard some hints of doubt in the... I mean, have I ever lied at any point in my life? Probably. Really? I'm going to huh. say probably. You're lying just now. You're lying right now. That was, that was a question. You can't lie in a question. <laughs> okay, so we've got um, some other donations, right? We've got Nexi donating $10 and not saying anything. I mean, why Nexi? Why would you do that to us? We love reading your comments and you, you've deprived that. We have deprived us of that opportunity. But hey, Please some, don't do that again. Sometimes, you know, actions speak louder than words. Yes. And donating to save the well, children is a, a yeah, big action. Yeah, you're right. It's a very important action. I and hate thank that you you're right. Thank you for that 
particular action. I hate that you're right, but you're right. Oh, God. You look so much better than me now. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I will, I will take that home. <laughs> uh, we've also well, got... But just uh, only just now. Don't like... Don't let it get into your head, okay? Oh, uh, t sorry. That's way too late for that. Way, okay. way too late for that. We've also got a donation from Anonymous giving $12 saying, real men wear pink. Wow. Guess I'm not a real man today. Oh, well. Do Mission you have, do you have anything pink with you? I don't. I don't, actually. That's a shame. I mean, yeah. you've just you've just disappointed our anonymous donator. I'm I'm very sorry, anonymous. I'm how how are you going to live with that? Can you live with that? I think I think I'll I'll make it. Well, Robo is not wearing anything pink either. Oh. Oh, oh my. Robo. Should we like burn him for that? I mean, you're wearing, you're wearing purple. Does it look like under your your sweater? I guess. I'm not great with clothes. I mean, it's purple. Purple's purple on the right. Purple's pretty close to pink. No, so it he, isn't. It's pretty close. No, it isn't. It's pretty close. Like no, just no, they're two different colors. Come on. Just make it like a little bit lighter, a and then and it's what? pink. What? Yeah. You must be kidding. Yeah, me. facts. Uh, oh, my exactly. hat's quite pink as well. You know, if you're colorblind. He agrees. Wow. With, he agrees with me. That's two v one. That's not. That's yeah. Color is a matter of opinion. You can't exactly. use color blindness as an argument. Man. Robo is a real man. You heard it here first. Oh my. Or may maybe that, they've heard first? it somewhere else. Wow. Maybe no. they've heard it somewhere else before, but uh, you, no. you definitely heard it here just now. Do you see Confirmed. what's going on here? 100%. Do you see what's going on? They're like, they are against me. They're <laughs> like, they, can't, they can't see that. They can't see me. They can true. hear you. They can hear me. But they he, can't is see it. he is wearing a very lightish purple right that could be, could right be confused for me. pink. And I sport it. I yeah. do actually want to mention an. A, Another uh, upcoming we are not friends donation anymore. incentive. We are not friends anymore. Because uh, Iconoclasts okay. has a donation incentive, or rather a bid war, to either hug or not hug dad. Oh my. Oh. So you can all at home or here at the venue, wherever you might be, you can decide if Perkism should hug dad in Iconoclasts. And. You should always, yeah, you should hug. Exactly. Dads. I mean, your dads, maybe not someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> you should no, no, hug, you hug sh other people's dads. Hug every consenting dad. Yes. I support it. Hashtag hug the dads. <laughs> Hashtag hug the dads. Absolutely. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah. Did you know I recently made a <laughs> game? Your dad. No. Okay, well, I have recently hugged my dad, actually. Oh. That's you know, good. Before going on vacation, well you want to you wanna give your parents a good goodbye and you know, yeah. give them a big hug. That's what you should do. Right. But uh, what I was going to say is, is okay. did you know I recently worked on a video game that was all about hugging ghosts? So I'm a big supporter of hugs, be it ghosts or dads. Did it have like ghost dads specifically? No, I'm sorry. It There was just a single ghost. What's the point to bring that up? We are talking about dads here. No, we're talking about hugs. No. I thought it was about ghosts. It's the, the hashtag is hug the dad, not that it's like hug anyone. No. I support hugs. How? That's, that's, the, that's the point here. I support hugs. How do you hug ghosts? By you go putting your them. arm your around them. You're going through them. They don't feel anything. You don't feel anything. What's they, the point? They, you're just like... They don't physically feel it. They emotionally feel it. They don't have any emotions. They have yes, ghosts. Yes, they do. Wow. 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 Okay, wow. these are some... These are some Hot takes here. <laughs> oh, so ghosts like, do not have emotions. They wow, don't. that's no. You just joined the early morning philosophy debates here at ESA Winter. <laughs> We're gonna speed run solving all <laughs> tangible philosophical questions that you never even conceived of. Can ghosts feel hugs? Yes, they can. No, they can't. No, they well, can't. there's only one way to resolve no, no, this, and I think that's a bidding war. Ghosts do not exist. Let's start with that. They do not exist. We decide this through the bid war. Bidding war. Yeah, you can donate to us and write in the comments, do you believe in ghosts or not? Do they exist? Can they feel stuff? Do exactly. they have emotions? If you support hugs and hugging ghosts, for that matter, then you should absolutely donate towards Hugging Dad in Iconoclasts. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Well done. 
Thank I'm you. proud of you. Thank you. Like, at least for once in my life, I should be proud of you. And that happened just now. I mean... You know, you know what I'm doing. You know, the compliments taken into heart. All the jabs, all the, <laughs> all the, the gross, like, mean things that you're saying straight over my head. You're such a bully. Mm, am I, though? Yes, you are. How can you live with yourself? You're such a bully. And Robo, you're a bully, too. No. You've Robo's a great guy. Very, very busy. I love Robo. Very, I'm going to give him a big hug a if he well, can get a room, to okay? Sister. You love Robo. Get a room. No one loves me, apparently. That's a well, shame. I mean, you I'm should such stop a good, calling such, everyone a bully. Then. I'm such a nice person. Are I you? Don't, yes. You don't. What? What is kind of a question you hate is that? Hugs. I how don't can, hate you, hugs. How can I've you never be said a nice that. People at home, how can you be a nice person and hate hugs? I haven't how said that. How does that? I haven't said that. You're you're lying to our audience right now. I don't think I am. Yes, you are. I think me and Robo support hugs. Oh, no, no, and no, no. And you no. are on the other side. Robo is not included into that equation, okay? I'm so we are not. No, you're not. 100%. You're Once like, again, you're people. not even the host. Come on. Just sit there. I am sitting don't, here. Don't say anything. I never said that. I mean, I'm, I'm offended. I'm so hurt mm. deep down. I have feelings, you know? I actually do have feelings. You want to talk about your feelings when you constantly You're call me a bully? You're not my psychologist. I'm not talking about my feelings to you. Well, you, I mean, you just did. I, I didn't no. ask you. I didn't. You. I, I didn't ask for your feelings, but you shared <laughs> them anyway. <laughs> because that was hurtful. You, uh, when you call I'm me a big, now. big bully, that's I'm also going, very hurtful. I'm not. I'm not a bully. You're a bully. You've just bullied me. You've just bullied me, and I'm hurt. Don't you see? Don't you see how? The damage that you have done? Stacy, yeah. I apologize. Oh my god, do you think that that's going to fix everything? Like say, oh, I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, well, good for you. What? How am I going to deal with the aftermath? W what can I ever do to make it up to you? Well, hmm. I can make something up. Something that you're going to regret. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> but then, then I'll, um, I'll be back to my happy self. Can you? Are you ready? I don't know. You should know. You, that's not sincere apologizing then. I'm ready. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so, so I'm not ready. I'm it's not good. Though. I'm ready. It's also not good. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. Okay. Thank you very much for, uh, for, listening for, to that. for suffering through this. I yes. think that uh, both Tech and the runner are ready to go. Yeah, ready to stop listening to that. Oh my. Do you see what I have like to go through? Enjoy the run. Okay, yeah, enjoy the run though. Hug your ghosts. And dads. And, and yes, and ghost your dads. With ghost your dads? Really? Oh my.